Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream here on the twitch.tv slash the Asuma. Streaming from Hermitcraft Season 10. What a crazy thing to say. 10 seasons of Hermitcraft. That is unbelievable. Spooky Forgill, Chewy Pepper, thank you for the bananas in chat. It is a Hermitcraft live stream weekend. And it is. And it is my turn to stream and I usually don't get to stream this time of day on a Saturday. So it's kind of cool to do something different. I am. And yes, yeah, so I got some materials to gather over here for what we're going to be doing today. I plan on doing something creative, you know? Sometimes we grind, sometimes we goof around, sometimes we adventure. Today, I think we're going to get creative. Hero Blender. Dev, thank you for the bananas in the chat. Let me know how the uh, quality of the stream is, because... Twitch is giving me some some bad signs. Don't know why I came back down here. I don't need to do that. I've got everything I need right here. So yeah, Scar streaming at the moment. Oh yeah, I can't get the uh, status mod to work. I double checked it was installed. Status is there. Uh, controls right. Keybinds. Like, I must be going mad, but I don't see it in here unless it's, like, bunged into another thing. Like, there's not one called status. So I can't open the status mod. Weird. Don't know what's going on with that. A dead girl 13 thank you for 10 months of support. Boxer, thank you for 3 months. Lady Kathy, thank you for 2. Bell Steven for 25. Greatly appreciated, peeps. Scar's looking for me. I'm here, Scar. I'm right here. His, uh, his base is off in that direction, I think. Okay, that was like the trolliest thing ever, actually. I sort of assumed <laughs> in my head he would hear it the way you heard it. No, that doesn't make any sense. Suma, can you tell Scar to rename the torch? He forgot. Okay, I will do. Like, he's over in that direction somewhere, right? I think. <laughs> Let's find out where he is. <laughs> Let's try that. Oh, he's at my temple now, they're saying. Does, does Scar have wings? Let's also, let's also turn that off, just in case he is nearby. He's on a horse, okay. Well, he'll probably like come out the front and round to the side. So if I go this way, we should see him. I also, I started my stream like a few minutes earlier just so there wouldn't be so much chaos right at the beginning. But immediately, like, us hermits, we never have a plan. Uh, Seller Cyan, thank you ever so much for your cheers and your biddies. Appreciate your support in the channel. Hope you're going to be entertained today. That is rooted dirt. Maybe Jevin is planning out paths. He's at Ren's Towers. Well, that that's not even towards Impulse's... Uh, Impulses area, is it? Cosmic Rabbit, thank you for the donation. Asuma, do you do the Hermits plan on using any other transportation methods besides Elytra this season? I, I would like to stick to using the horse and walking myself. That's what I'm aiming to do somewhat. Okay, mixed messages in chat. Like, y'all are live relaying where he is. He's either heading towards me or going in that direction now. Right, so now some of you are saying he's going in this direct. Goodness me. How did he get to impulse so fast? Is that how fast a horse is? The Arctic Viking. Thank you so much for 61 months. Appreciate it, my dude. Oh, he's got a very fast horse. Oh, okay. 
Because that is, that is some speedy traversing right there. I mean, he's whizzed back over there. Current Gaming, thank you ever so much for subscribing. ZachL16, thank you for 20 months, my dude. Thank you for the peeps in uh, chat as well. Appreciate y'all helping out with the directions. Who you after, says Lexi. I'm after Scar. And after me is Joe of the Hills. I got, I got something fun and creative for us to do today. Right, y'all are saying he's at impulses. I had this feeling that then you'd be like, oh, he's heading back to where you are. And it's like, no, no. It's not how this works. You want to share your plans with us, X, says Fulgill. Yeah, I'm going to get um, I'm gonna get creative today. Do some building. I think it's going to be fun. Got some just natural inspiration bottled up to be unleashed. Wiggly Fox, thank you for 47 months. Appreciate it. With the wiggles as always. So, in theory, if Scar is here, like y'all have told me, then I feel like I should hear him by now. The only thing Hawkeye can there, see? Where did he go? Is he inside? Wait, there's a name tag here. There he is. <gasps> Zoom Hello. Zoom! Hi, Scar. Hello, Azuma. Dude, I, did we just make circles around the map? Yep. Yep, my chat was telling me where you were, so I headed towards where you were, and then you came to where I said it would be, so... You know how it goes. We, we never have a yes. plan that works. Your, no, never. Like your me, horse. I spilled maple syrup all over me today. Oh, dear. Sticky. Your horse is really fast. Like, one minute my chat's like, oh, he's at Ren's Tower. You know, he's at your base, he's at Ren's Tower, he's at Impulses. You get around faster with this cow, uh, horse. Do we just lose Scar? Scar? One second, Azuma. <laughs> Something's happening over there. This is this is a speedy cow. Woo! All right, a zoom, zoom. Where is he? Zoom, yeah. zoom. This is this so is, fast. <laughs> we don't need no elytra, I don't think. You know. I was gonna make a. Uh, I was. Gonna, we were gonna make babies with this horse, and we were gonna give it to Grian, and then Grian uh, broke my heart. Oh, what did he do? Yeah. He, he didn't want. He didn't want to make babies with that. He didn't want that horse as one of the parents. No. Why not? It's a nippy one. It's a beautiful horse. Its name's Cow Cow. Or, or <laughs> I love cow? the name. It's oh, Cow. Almost looks like a cow with the uh, white patches and all. Yeah. Right, right. It was, I forgot if it was Impulse or somebody said it, it, it was cow-like. And I was like, that's a great name. Its name is now Cow. Do you want to know what my horse is named? Oh, thank you. What's your What's your horse's name? Name tag. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback to season two. Paralysis <laughs> legendary horse. So, yeah, his name uh, is name tag. That's funny. Oh, that, I love the hilarious. hat. I love the hat. Scar, um, did you saw... Oh my god, those goggles. <laughs> They are awesome. Wow. <laughs> did you sign this thing, by the way? I did. I think I put Kao on it. Oh, okay. Right, so I, I had I have a little idea for signing it. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do that in a minute, but my chat wanted to make sure that you had signed it. So I did. They know that I always forget the stream stuff. It's always right afterwards, I'm like, oh shoot. Yep. <laughs> but you got it done this time. So I did, I did real... I'm proud of myself oh, for that. Oh wait. Why is it on my head? I thought it sits on your shoulder. It's a pumpkin. I'm so confused. Is it you when you hold it? You, it appears you can put it on your, your offhand. Wait, I actually don't know how to do that. Oh, there you go. Oh, cool. So there's like three places it can go. Huh. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That is amazing. All right, Izuma. Hopefully you get more done than I did in this stream. Oh, okay. What did you do? Just Tom Fullory? Yes, yes. Interesting. Uh, oh, question actually, a very important question, Azuma. Have you ever had honey on eggs? <laughs> I was listening to your stream earlier and I was like, ah, honey on eggs. I don't know. Could I don't know. You try it. Could the you just, the like, American eggs? sweet and savory doesn't work for me. When I was over there in, in New York City, I had the American breakfast with like the, the bacon, the sausage, the pancakes, and syrup and. 
I didn't. Did you tour an ICBM silo afterwards? Your American breakfast. I didn't, but I did go on a military ship, uh, a hangar. It's it's like permanently okay, there. Okay, you had an all-American day, like we were just talking about yeah. like, a few minutes ago. Um, I I just just try just like even if you just take one piece of an egg and just a just a boop. I'll do it. Uh, I'll do uh, it, honey. I got eggs. Okay. I'll uh, I'll try that in a couple of days when I make myself. Oh, okay, an okay, good, 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 good. How's the how's the how's the chicken going lately? I've literally just ate the most massive salad ever. Like it filled up a fruit bowl, and I had boiled chicken in it. Oh, just plain boiled chicken! Boiled Zuma, chicken. I love it. That brings me so much made. joy. Oh, <laughs> chat! He's still boiling them chickens. Oh, I love it. Okay, Zuma. No we'll read him just a minute. minute. Goodbye, Zoom Zoom. Goodbye. See you, Scar. Oh, I love he's still boiling chicken. I am still boiling chicken. I love it. It's uh, It tastes great plain. You know? Doesn't need no seasoning. And, you know, it's the other stuff that you put in the salad that really complements it. One thing I've really grown fond of in salads is sun-dried tomatoes. They're, like, all oily and... Oh, they really, they really add a nice kick of flavor. Because a lot of stuff that you put in the salad, I find, is kind of plain. Like your celery, your cucumber, your tomatoes, they're on the plain side, right? You need something in there to like, to bring it all together. Sometimes it's like eggs. Some eggs that have been cooked and all mashed up. Like not hot, you know, like boiled and, and cold again. Uh, sometimes some mayonnaise or like a sauce you can throw in there. And there's, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of different things. Today, I had gherkins and sun-dried tomatoes in there. And, oh, man, they, mm, love it. <laughs> love me a good salad. Mozzarella cheese is a great one. Yeah, yeah, cheese cheese goes in a salad to really give it the flavor. Right, uh, mayonnaise is not a sauce. Am I being corrected here? You know what I mean, though. So, like, something runny that gets... On all the different ingredients. <clears throat> That's how it works for me. You just need something to like tie them all together. And that's a good salad. And like, <laughs> I, I feel very bloated at the moment as well. Very satiated. I hope I hope that doesn't disrupt the stream in any way. I don't think it will. But usually I don't eat. Oh. <sighs> I've just realized what happened. Has anyone else done that today? Like, I thought, I thought, wait, wait, azalea tree grows with, no, no. Oh my God. I had its name a minute ago. Okay. Apparently Ren did that. That's fair enough. Uh, welcome all the streamers from Scar's... St welcome all the street. Welcome all the raiders from Scar Stream. I just placed it on the ground. I'm going to have to just have it in my inventory or on my head. One of the two. I can have it on my head today because we're not doing anything uh, dangerous or ridiculous in any way. I've also got so many noises here to read now. Uh, S1W, thank you so much for gifting subs. We always appreciate that over here. We had Damina... Amatru Arnold here with cheers and biddies saying sending cheers and bits to all the hermits this hermit craft stream weekend which I may or may not have stayed up all night for wow hope you have a fun weekend and I hope to catch your <laughs> tomorrow morning too yeah so after this stream I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to get up in the morning and I got a stream again I'll probably have time to go for a walk or something like that but that is that is how my day is tomorrow uh, I kind of want an anvil so over here, make an anvil, flop it down. This is this is the level of productivity we get to reach on a stream. We're always going to be distracted by something, and we're starting with uh, this. Nope, <laughs> a guest, a wild guest. There it is. I knew roughly where the new ones were. Okay, now what what was its name? We had it in the stream a few minutes ago. Actually, I'd... Oh, they're already on it. They're already on it. Thank you, mods. The Mr. Dr. Skizzleman Beans on Toast Cow. I, I could have swore... I think the capitalization here might be slightly incorrect, but uh, we're not going to... We're not going to correct that. That is pretty much it. 
Master. Don't tell anyone this happened. Hello. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to do something different. I'm going to add lore to this. I thought it would be cool. Huts Banana says Creeper behind you. Nice try. Maybe when I'm in a field. Not when I'm standing in a cave with a stone wall behind me. Jeez. Ren saw nothing. Hi, Ren. Thank you for putting this together, my dude. So the idea is that you add something to it. The Mr. Dr. Skizzle Beans on Toast Cow. Uh, let's, let's, let's make a reference to Scar here. I think I've got it. I think I've got what I want to do. So I'm going to take a stick and rename it to Drizzled... Drizzled? Drizzle. Drizzled. I don't know how to spell drizzle. Drizzled. <laughs> With honey. Okay, chat chat seems to think that this is correct. Good. Now, if I go ahead and put that in my offhand and hold this one and then run a certain trigger or uh, name formatting, or is it format name? Format name. Now what I want to do is offhand to law pens. Now, oh look at that! The Mr. Doctor Skizzle Beans on Toast Cow drizzled with honey. Doing it in style. That's what we're doing here. We're doing it, and we're doing it with style. Let's get let's get a wrecking. Free XP. Repair my stuff, please. So now I think what we'll do is put it on my head. And apparently I have the resource pack to stop the car pumpkin overlay, which is, you know, good, decent. I like it. And chat loves it. Chat loves it. Yeah, maple syrup. Now, if someone else wants to drizzle something else, you can add another line of lore. It's all doable. Uh, let's see. So Jew Destructor, 14 months. We have ASP Viper for two, Pitta for six, King Krusty here with some cheers, and Biddy saying glad to see the Hermits are back. And we're glad to be back. I think I think this season is the uh, season of togetherness seems to be the theme that everyone's kind of like hinting at. Or is emerging, let's say. I like it. It's cool. And I think, I think Impulse, Impulse nailed it on the Imp and Skiz podcast. Which is an amazing podcast. And I highly recommend you go check it out. Especially the latest one. You will get to see Skizzleman being told on camera that he's joining Hermitcraft. And it is absolutely beautiful and I love it. It's such a cool moment. And we got to see that a long time ago. Now y'all get to see it and it's just amazing. So go 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 check it out. But Impulse, Impulse kind of uh, nailed, I think, what's happened this season. And it's that this game, you know, was started based on playing together with friends in a more innocent age of YouTube where there was less, I think, less competitive thought about, you know, what it is to make content and stuff. And then over the years, it's become something more than that, right? It's become our livelihoods. And then we've gone through this sort of this sort of age of everyone seems to be aware of the YouTube game and everyone's talking about how to maximize it and create you know the best content and all this kind of stuff and that's actually quite exhausting and i think a lot of us have sort of gone through that and now we've got a different mindset where it's like we're done with that and we just want to get back to playing with our friends you know not that we haven't been doing that but when he said that i was like yeah that's that's how i've been feeling like i've just been approaching this season like i'm just gonna stop thinking about all this optimizing the video trying to make you know, everything pop off online with your content and stuff and just have some fun. I've been doing this for too long. I'm just going to do whatever I want in my video. And it don't have to be the best video ever. I just want to have fun making it, you know? And I think just maybe, maybe not everyone, but it sounds like quite a few of us are in a similar place. Um, what happened in chat, by the way? Mumbo fell. Oh, but Mumbo's, Mumbo's red. Oh, wow. Look at that. Four red namers online. I gotta go after someone again soon. I think I might I think I might try Thulse, but she's very vigilant. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get her. But yeah, I gotta go after someone. 
You know, as you saw today, me and Ren have uh, teamed up over here with the log lads or the log fellas or the log lords was the suggestion I saw that I liked. Maybe we could do something together. Get our names turned from uh, red to grey. Anyway, we're almost done with this little process over here. I wanted to get... I, I've, I know I've already got more than enough of these bushes. We might as well make this the last one. Uh, let's read more of these noises. Michael Stickle for 86 months. Incredible. Evil X is definitely in the, his house. Happy new season. Excited for the shenanigans and pranking this season. Also, mayo is, mayo is basically egg. Yeah, it is made with egg, isn't it? Egg and something else. Mixed up together. Uh, Gapish Chat, thank you for subscribing. SakaJ90 for 36. Charlie BHL for free. Martin Cook here for four. And then we've got the Dutch Sailor coming in with a massive sub bomb. Ten subs. Thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate it. And I'm going to read out all the names today just because I'm very aware after being raided by Scar and it being like uh, a bit of prime time for the stream weekend that we're just going to have a lot of people rolling through. And I do want to uh, I do want to read more of chat. I always want to try and do that. Egg oil and a smidge of mustard, says Penelope Sky. Ah, you know, I, I love mustard, so I'm, I'm not surprised to hear that mustard is in it. Yeah, mu I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of mustard in cooking. Mustard mash is probably one of the simplest ways to spice up your... Uh, Potatoes. Well, there's going to be more of these flowing in. I just kind of, I kind of want to get to that hopper back there because they all, they like back up, don't they? See? Yes, see? Now I need some cobble. Bring it back. There we go. There we go. Mustard mash. That sounds amazing, says uh, Flopmeister. It is. Yeah, no, it's a real simple one. When you're mashing your potatoes, you can do it with mustard seeds or if you've got a bit of mustard sauce, chuck it in. You know? A good one. All uh, right, Lycan Wolf, 24 months. Lurker, tier three subscriber, dude. As a tier three subscriber, you can join my Minecraft server, Patreon server, whatever we're calling it. Let's play Minecraft three. Um, place to do that: assumeavoid.com. Look for get whitelisted on the left side of the screen, and then you can hook up your Twitch subscription to join the server. We got Mackie, three one oh seven for forty seven. Tora. Hey, ah, I know I've got this one for four months. Thank you so much. This is why we have this animation, because I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Intra La Crustine, thank you for the uh, cheers and biddies. We've got Mikey Gammy for 21. Ice Pick for 32. Sally Ann, 1, 2, 3 for 98. Getting so close. So close to 100. X, it's been a pleasure joining you on this journey to Season 10. I started watching you in Season 1, checking out your content before I let my daughter watch. Tonight I'm sat watching with her son. My three month old grandson. Wow. Generations right there. I can't wait for him to grow into Minecraft too. Thank you for the ride. That is beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. That's awesome to hear. So cool, isn't it? Minecraft is becoming somewhat of a generational game because it's been around for so long. And it, it broadly appeals to, you know, different age ranges really. It's a game about creativity. Why, why couldn't it? You know, why couldn't it appeal? Right, so, 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 let me go introduce you to what we're doing today. I have had a burst of creativity. I guess maybe the way to start this is just by showing, for any of you that don't know what I'm doing with my base this season, I threw together this, what you see here rather quickly. Um, it's, it's the shell, it's the beginning, it's the edges that can be refined and tweaked, details can be put in, we can make these buildings and shapes more interesting but the basic is here it's kind of inspired by an aztec temple but we're we're messing around with the layout and we're using a lot of tough blocks as you can see now once we've got this thing going we get to decorate the inside which is kind of where i'm at right now and the first thing we're going to do is build something beautiful it's going to be i was trying to think of this word earlier and it just hit me what is an aviary? Actually, I think that's like an indoor place for birds. I'm trying to think of like a, a bee place for like beekeeping. So I grabbed a couple of materials and I went, actually, this birch and bamboo, they're pretty cool. 
Apiary, the chat goes wild. Apiary. I said aviary, didn't I? And I don't think an apiary is for bees. But anyway. This right here just kind of struck me as like nice textures to have near the bees. And I need to do the bee stuff because I need some honey bowls. So I've been out there gathering some moss and some leaves because I think that's going to make this area look pretty. But that's going to be our task now is to build whatever it is I'm inspired to build here. Right, that... Oh, wait, I'm clicking with the wrong thing. Kind of sad. That make no sense. These are clearly full. The area has been loaded, like, while I've been away all day. Now I get to come back and scoop up a bunch of honey. Now, I would like to keep it running right now. Oh, look at that. That's terrific. That gets me not very much closer to the amount that I need. It's going to be a, still be a fair bit of work before we get what we need. I need to now shut these fence gates and get them all inside. Because that will stop them from coming back out again. They can get back in, but they can't get back out. I think, I'm, I think I've done all my bee breeding as well, so we're good on that front. Uh, put a bee head on a note block sound. I do not want to kill a bee. It's not what I want to do here. It's not my vibe. Uh, just Monez, thank you for 11 months. Golden Music Nerd. Thank you for an incredible amount. Like, that's like 15 or 20 gifted subs. Thank you for your generosity, my dude. We will play the animation for uh, later for all of those gifting subs. So I appreciate it. Oops, my apologies. Is here for 12 months. Same one year. Indeed, my dude. A genius for 26. Huge Renzone is here for four months. Chip Willish is here with the cheers and the biddies. Your build reminds me of a cross between Skyrim Fortress and an Aztec Temple. Hmm, yeah. That sounds that sounds pretty fitting. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing like a little bit of a vision coming to me here. Sort of. Maybe not. We gotta uh, we gotta sort out the entrance first. I think I'm gonna try it just with these blocks that we have already. Definitely need some more birch. And that one there. Thank you for those cheers and biddies, my dude. Double 420. Thank you for three months of the Prime. Appreciate it. Do hermit heads also make sounds on note blocks? They do not. They do not. It could be done. It could be done. But you need to add in a resource pack with custom sounds. So I, I'm kind of thinking that this is a little bit too small, right? In order for us to make it super pretty. I think I really like this. And I think it's probably going to be over here where this is. So we rip out. Dang it. I need more dirt blocks. We rip out this cobblestone. And we bring that thing forward to somewhere around here. And then we also have it on the side as an entrance. I think that's the way we're going to make this work. Hey. Hey. Adifa Tar, thank you so much for all of those gifted subs. Another 10 of them coming in. Peeps, if you're, if you're in chat, just check if you've been gifted one. Be sure to say thanks. Joanne Ezzy, uh, thank you ever so much for the Prime. Appreciate it. And who Vinegel, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate it. So yeah, we're going to have, we're going to have like this as you approach. And I think peeling, peeling the stone bricks off so you step up makes sense then you probably want to see this so it's now too wide and that's where like too wide is always a bit awkward isn't it so i think we want to make it oh, here's the thing you want to step through a door again <laughs> figuring this stuff out in this game is always like super awkward Or maybe you don't. Like, am I ever actually going to walk around here? Maybe they can just be windows. Like, this this is actually not really traversing space. The other side was supposed to be, like, an entrance because you can come out of here. So it feels like you need to go into somewhere. But I could just block it off. I could just fill that in and be like, you know what, actually, it's just a wall. I think that might be the way to roll forward on this one. Just basically say, you know what, it's a wall. 
And I want that to be free wide, definitely. <clears throat> let's see, let's see where we get with it. But I'm pretty sure all of this can come out now. After I've spent ages placing it. I even knew it was a placeholder wall, but I needed a wall there to begin with. I'm such a nerd, I'm still reeling that you don't know the difference between an aviary and an apiary. It's just, it's just words, man. It's just like noises that come out of your mouth. And can you remember them from the last time you heard them? And I, I thought an aviary was the uh, birds like indoors. Like a big cage for them to fly around. But according to chat, that's an apiary. So I can't remember what the word for the uh, bees was. Basically. <clears throat> Aviary is birds. Oh, okay. Well, e either way, you know, we're just building an area for the bees. Doesn't have to be uh, that particular. I do wonder, I do wonder, maybe I did have the right idea to make it small to begin with. It's just hard to get the kind of decor together that I wanted for it. Because this could just be a regular wall. Because it kind of looks nice when you open this space up and it's just there. But I guess the uh, the alternative idea then is that we're... Hmm. Is it going to be like here? So it's just off from the other wall by one. Which will look nice because then it's kind of like recessed and that's important. I think we can make this work. So a nice little bit of randomization going on. There'll be something similar at the front here, like a step up to get in. It's going to be the same thing again. Do you see how there's one bee left behind? Now, is that like, is that like the bee that can't find a home? Because I did breed a bunch earlier. Or is it just not tried yet? When we came back over here... They were all out. So I don't know if now we've got one more bee than we have the right amount of beehives and stuff. Anyways, let's keep cracking on with the placing of these blocks. It does look like it's without a hive. Yep, yep. I agree. So a window on that side, a window on that side, and... Those will be made out of glass, I think. Only got this much left at the moment. And, uh, now that I remember, like, I only put that there temporary. We should get, hmm. I was just thinking, what colours would you go for? I think white and yellow would probably look good together. Uh, Lorax Librarian, thank you for your three months of the Prime. Best way to spend a quiet afternoon. Thanks, X. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, my inventory is disgusting once again. By the way, storage. I haven't even, like, touched this properly yet. I'm still just throwing everything into chests. There's a little bit of organization here and there. But this area is mostly chaos. And when I decide where I want the storage to be, that'll all change. Uh, I'll tell you what. We do have, like, the four flowers that are too tall. So I can make lots of yellow dye. So that's not a bother. And then we've got loads of bones. So we get to make... Uh, oh, look. There's loads of it there. So we get that die. Right. And now I just need some more sand. Somewhere around here. There you go. Look, there's sand. Okay. The, <laughs> this, is a, this is a horribly unoptimized process. I'm aware. Right. That's the wrong type, isn't it? There we go. So this time, let's say we make half like that. Oh, actually, I made most of it because I've only got five left. Whoops. Ember Ela, thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate it. Hope you're uh, enjoying the stream. I feel like I need like another chest for glass stuff to go in now. 
It's ridiculous. This, by the way, rooted dirt I thought was the material we might put in that area. That storage is Carnos Incarnate, says Brand Daddy. It pretty much is, isn't it? It's pretty awful. I won't lie. I won't lie. Uh, we're waiting for some more glass. You see, I thought we'd wander off and not worry about it. But I used, I used all of it instead of half. Whoops. Whoopsie doodah. Just hire the cleaning lady, she'll sort the chest out for you. Uh -huh. It's not it's not a clean-up job, it's like a from the ground up job, right? Like I haven't actually done anything yet. Oh, doesn't that look so nice? That's the way we want it to go. Similar thing over here, maybe. Whoops. So, so far, the color palette, as you can see, is uh, pretty pretty mild with the pale yellow and the yellow. And then we want to make the floor area, like, vibrant, I think is the word we're looking for. That's going to involve having some moss and some these bushes and stuff. So, is that one bee still buzzing around? It's gone in... It's found a home, peeps. It found a home. Rejoice. Found a home. Oh, this inventory is just painful to deal with sometimes. Just in general. This game. <clears throat> so, these, uh, these beehives and stuff, they might actually get moved. Oh, do I have silk touch? I don't have silk touch. But I have the means to get silk touch. And I do have a chest. Right, let's go put the chest the other side of where the new door will be. So the chest will go here. Let's dump all of this stuff that we're using for the building here. Because we got to do take care of a little something quickly. Oh, oh. Puts my mind at ease, that does. Puts my mind at ease. Roforex, thank you for your nine months, my dude. Uh, one more month to a Twitch baby. Actually, you got it right now, my dude. You got it already. Yeah, yeah, there. Uh, evening, lads. Love the Judas Priest video. Oh, I'm glad you did. I've had so much fun making those guitar videos and posting them. I, uh, I've really enjoyed it. And for those of you who didn't know, yesterday was Judas Priest with Free Will Burning, which is a song I absolutely love. It gives me, like, such a shot of adrenaline. Oh, I remember where it is. It's over here somewhere. There it is. So with the with the guitar video stuff, uh, that was a song that I knew for quite a long time that I just, oh man, every time I loved it, so good. I love the lyrics as well. And then one day, I think I was on holiday, and I was practicing guitar, and I was like looking through tabs and stuff, and it just kind of caught my eye. I was like, this one, there's bits of it that are kind of playable, and then you know you knuckle down, you figure out how to play it all, and then bam practice you practice and then you know how to play the song and it's just so so gratifying so gratifying i have a i have a song that i did a cover of right and uh, when it comes out it might be the next one that i publish i'll have a cool story to tell you it'll make more sense well actually it probably doesn't make sense if you see the song or not but i actually learned to play this song while i was on the train home because i was listening to it and i was like i'm pretty sure i could play this song and then i looked up the tab on my phone and was reading it whilst listening to the song and visualizing myself playing it, right, all the way home. And then when I finally got home, I was like picking up the guitar and it was like so easy to learn because I literally sat there looking at the tab, listening to the song and figuring it all out and putting it together, which was, which was so cool. Like, usually I don't learn like that. It was actually a really good way to learn because you just, you gave it your full attention and you had to like think about it more than do it and usually when i learn songs it's a bit more lazy than that do you take your guitar with you when you travel do you take a break when you travel uh depends what i'm traveling for <clears throat> next time some steve vice is paper bird no chance no chance i don't play lead guitar i just play rhythm I, I could possibly play lead, but it's just, it feels to me like it's so much more, like, hard work, basically. 
And I, I really just love like playing and enjoying. And I get that from playing rhythm guitar. Um, actually you have people on your head, says Gyroscope. Yeah, I do. It's Skizzle Man and Joel. Skiz streamed earlier today. How did that go for him? I imagine y'all uh, made him feel very welcome. First time at craft stream and stuff. Or maybe not. I don't know, actually. He might have streamed before the weekend. It was loud. This is Avi. Hilarious. Chaos and fun. Oh, wow. Y'all have got to tell me what the other hermits got up to today. And here's me just, you know, hanging out in a hole. Because I need my uh, silk touch so I can get all that glass back. Yeah, I didn't quite find the time to do this anytime sooner. But it needs to be done. Nether blaze screaming. Hot tub fishing. Oh, wow. The Riz team pranked beef by changing his house locks. That was, uh, that wasn't Skizzle. That was, um, Cleo and Ren and Iskow. Oh, wait, that's, okay, so Zitz, Zitz is, right, got it. Zitz is, uh, Skizzle Man. Okay. Well, four guys in a hot tub with their fishing rods out. Oh, I get it, I get it. I can picture it now. Hilarious. Which hermit starts the stream chain? That was uh, Ren, Iskal, and Cleo. Yeah, I think it's like I think it's like. Uh... Wait a minute, what? I already have a silk touch pick. Oh, I did this already. Wait, I did this. I totally forgot. Oh, you volley. Right, this is for that pick. I totally forgot. Well, while we're here, and I got... What the hell? The, how the heck did I forget that I did that? What's wrong with me? Yeesh. I just can't remember anything these days. I'm surprised I know what day it is. I'm surprised I'm here. I turned up on time? What? Call the doctor. Something's wrong with X. He's actually here. My God, that's so weird. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> when? I can barely remember. Oh, my God. Uh, Lord Cryptid. Thank you for 33 months. Almost three years. Yes, yes, it is. Thank you for sticking around. We all get older, right, says uh, Korodikus. Yeah, we all get older. I'm definitely facing um, a real sense. I've been... Probably saying it too much on stream. But a real sense of just... My memory ain't there like it used to be. I was telling Ren the other day that I couldn't remember the name of my uh, junior school headmaster. And it literally just popped into my head right now. <laughs> As I'm thinking about not being able to remember stuff. But yeah. Um, you, do, you, do, you do decline as you get older. And I felt it with... Things here and there, a little bit of decline, okay. But just, I don't know, lately, it's more than I like now. It's become a nuisance. But I accept it, it's okay. I can understand, that's the way things go. Part of the deal. You get to live, but you ain't young forever. Memory loss is definitely one of the biggest fears of getting old, says Amelia. Yeah, I mean, like, it will... I think I'll get really concerned when you start to forget, like, passwords and, like... Central... Central things. I can kind of understand, yeah, I'm forgetting stuff that happened years ago, you know, alright. Like, what about your day-to-day? -day? And that goes, it's like, ah... Time to train the old noggin not to lose your memory as fast as Banana Sama. Yeah, I would like to do a little bit of something like that. I'm not sure what the best way to go about that is, but one thing I have decided to do consciously lately is consume less media. So, like, just be a little more selective with your time and stop trying to be consuming something all the time, right? Like having 
Just having a list of never ending list of videos you want to watch. It's just like ah. Tone it all back and just keep keep things simple. Spend a bit more time just, I don't know, in the moment, not trying to consume this next thing or whatever it is and like slow things down a bit. I like that. And it, you know what the results of that are right now? I don't know. Yeah, uh, Joey says that's what a password manager apps are for. Yep, I'm old and I need to use KeepPass. I, you know, you should use a password manager regardless. Just being being up to scratch with uh, security news and like understanding how things work online on the web. A, a, a password manager is like a must. A must have. Really shouldn't be reusing any passwords online or anything like that. So that's that's like, you know, that's just a single password to remember though, right? If you've got a password manager. That's what I'm worried about forgetting. It's like, what if you forget that one password? I get to learn some ACDC songs if I get a guitar like yours, says uh, Michelle. Go for it. Go for it. Our culture nowadays is very less reliant on memory than it used to be. That also influ influences a lot, us a lot. We shifted from treasuring our stories in history as getting as much as we can all the time and not caring about keeping it for the future, says Reading Callow. Your, uh, your statement ended up being a little more sentimental than I thought it would be. I thought you were going to say, like, now we have, like, GPS to tell you when to next turn and when to next go to, you know, this place or that place. And, like... You know, if you've been around older generations, they'll tell you about how they used to have to, like, memorize a journey and write down instructions and look out for road signs. And I think that that's what I would comment on is that side of things. Where did I put the white die? Dude, I really got to sort this, this whole storage thing out soon. Soon. <laughs> Maybe not all of it, you know? And then that stuff becomes this stuff. Then we go build a bit. My son asked why ending a call is hanging up. And I realized how old I am, says Humble Birch. It's amazing that though, isn't it? Yeah, that's... Why would you call it hanging up? You know? It's that old physical action. So yeah, there are so... you used to need to remember things a lot more. It was a lot more important once upon a time to really remember stuff you know whereas now you can just like keep information in your phone someone asks you for something it's like easy to look up and i'm not sure if maybe maybe that contributes to this sort of like fuzzy memory that i'm experiencing you know just not having to try as hard as much Right, this is looking okay. Whoops! You're in the wrong place. Oh! I have a silk touch. Silk touch. Silk touch axe. That'll do the job. That'll do the job. Right. It's looking pretty cool, I think. As for how it blends in on this side, don't worry about it. We can do so much more with time. So, uh, the next thing we want to sort out is the floor. And one thing I'd really like is to get some, like, height variance in here. I also, I didn't plan on keeping these exactly where they are. So maybe it's not the next thing that we do. It is alright, this setup. The fence gates really need to be rotated so you can easier access these things. You just walk in and right-click on them, so that's fine. I guess we don't want this stuff to show, so we need to put blocks in front of them as kind of what I was originally thinking. And uh, the blocks that I want are not there. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna need a crafting bench, that's for sure. Scar stream was about syrup and honey. Assume a stream is about memory loss. When stream about Minecraft? I mean, I'm playing Minecraft. I think that counts. 
Love the music says care system. It's Rune Realms. I I've really been enjoying this music. Really been enjoying it. So if I use the tap cam, yeah, that's the floor of the next room. It might be wise for me to plaster the ceiling with... I don't know what. I don't know what. So yeah, making the floor, I thought we'd use this combination of things. Uh, that'll have to go there. And then a few fluffy... So like green wool would be good, but I just don't have that yet. I just don't have that. So, green grass, obviously. Yeah, let's go grab some grass from somewhere. Then the ceiling... You see, the ceiling's... Like, once you start putting the blocks in, it all gets a little squashed. Because below here, there's another floor down there, right? <clears throat> Trapdoors instead of full blocks. Yeah, the birch trapdoor, though, is a little... Is there a... Is there a... Let's find out. Is there a trapdoor? Yeah, of course there is. Then if you want to hide what's behind it, though, you see that. This, 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 though, is a great texture to be used just, like, around the edges here and there. I don't know quite where we're going to put them. Not there. But they can be used here and there to just add a little something extra. We've got grass right here. Look, we've got no, no shortage of grass here. It's spread all across this level. They look great with scaffolding. Oh, I imagine they do, yeah. A little bit of scaffolding in there will be fine. So, like other leaves that might actually fit in. Maybe those acacia are probably good. And then we want green blocks. A little bit of mossy cobble. Glow liking I need to build a farm for. That's such a such a good block for just adding in extra texture as well. I don't see any glass. We've got the moss carpets, they'll be a part of it. There's grass. We just need to still touch some more. Right, and then there's one more thing that I need. Grab this stuff. And like, what's the what's the quickest way to like make a glow like a dirt farm? Just, just do it like like that, but then farm it. <laughs> hey, you know what? Pink petals are pretty nice. I just I feel like that might be the wrong other color to throw in there. Putting in some sunflowers for decoration uh, could go down well. This is this is the level of early game we're at right here. This is where putting enchantments on a shears can be pretty beneficial. Have you got a new mic stand, says Michael Stickle. No, I, I don't have a new mic stand. I, uh, I ditched the old mic. Well, not the old mic. I ditched the new mic. We're back on the old one now. On the headset. Could you break them with pistons? Yeah, but I want to get, get the items. Anyway, we don't need a crazy amount. You just throw a few of those in here and there and, and you're good. With the, the decor and stuff. Have I looked into the Hermitcraft gacha community? No, I haven't. I don't know what gacha is. I feel like someone's asked me that before. Yeah, like, if I just put down, like, the occasional glow like in, you just, you add a little without adding a lot, in a way. Um, and then, like we said, grass. That's the one thing I didn't actually come and get more of, so. Uh, no. Is there something wrong with the stream? Oh, ga oh, we're talking about gacha. G uh, basically gambling with extra steps. Oh, I think I remember now. Yeah, I think I remember saying, like, nope, not into that. As you can imagine. Stream is good, says Pineapple on Pizza. Thank you, thank you. 
Yeah, so we're looking at having a floor at this level here. Some bushes and stuff will look cool. The ceiling, I think, has got to be... Probably just keep the dirt and put all this stuff, like, in front of it, right? Uh, maybe not those ones as much. Oh, and I'm missing... Oh, I'm missing my purdy ones. We went and picked them all up earlier. Deliberately. Where are the purdy bushes? There they are. Gotta have a few of these in here too, right? So it's gonna be real bushy, but also kind of like flat. Glowberries is another one to bring up here. Dang, so many, so many things to bring. Um, but like, how do we hide the basalt here? If I wanted to, I could actually just keep the beehives at this level here. Is a thing. Uh, we got vulgar display of bread coming in for 20 months of the prime. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. You could make some really basalty French fire sticks. Hmm. Honeycomb blocks. That would go nice in here. I just I don't have those resources yet. You know, you can make one honeycomb block. I guess I guess it deserves one. One honeycomb block somewhere. Bam. There you go. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I had I had like quite quite the vision earlier of what to do here, but it's so much smaller than I thought it was. Like if I strip those and then just put an stairs underneath it, that was as much as I thought would look cool. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I can I can see something. Just I'm just gonna I'm gonna wing it a bit. I'm just gonna be like, all right, you know what. We'll be here forever if we don't do something, won't we? So, a little bit of variation up the top again. Oh, never at the right height, am I? Because we're actually going to see these blocks here. So, the occasional one being bamboo just helps, you know, break it up subtly a tiny bit. These are, I think these are two really good uh, blocks to work with together. Like, if you want to use birch or bamboo, they're really interchangeable. All right, so we got that. And then on this side, we're going to have this again. Now, we're trying to hide the basalt. Or maybe maybe we just embrace it here, but we hide it at the front. I don't know. Probably be a bit crazy to get rid of all of it. So, then we create... Yeah, again, I think we're going to really benefit from mixing these up, actually. We're going to create a ledge that goes like all the way across. Then I gotta break up the texture below it, because that's just it's just ain't gonna fly. Paintings! Cool idea, but I think they don't really fit the theme very well. I don't know. Maybe some pots with like flowers in and stuff. Yeah, I think I think we might actually keep the um Basalt and sort of embrace it a little. We also got to remember that we're trying to hide this dirt ceiling, so we're gonna have like stuff coming in at this level, like this. It really is gonna fill up like rather quick. In fact, this is a good idea to put this. No, to put this in now, just so we can uh, visualize it a bit better. So, like, this shelf area actually might just be better like that. You know, having um, these bushes kind of come into the space a bit. But they're, gonna, they're just, they're just going to disappear, basically. They're going to disappear. And I'm thinking that we're going to raise all of these 
beehives up by one and put the fence gates in front of them just facing the other way. The leaves have sticky bits out. Is that a mod pack? No, it's just a resource pack. That's all that is. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go get the grass in last, just because I really want to start to see what this is gonna look like when it's got more stuff going on in here. We've got all these different blocks to place down. I'm just a bit slow at doing that. I did see that there were the other bamboo blocks in there that might go cool on the ground. Oh yeah, and I got a little bit of mossy cobble. I feel like that should be closer to here, you know. Just at, just at the front area. Maybe a little bit over here too. It's looking alright now, isn't it? That we got a little jumble of blocks in here. And the glow like in. Oh, there's so many blocks in this game. Low liking's important too. It's it's starting to get there. It's starting to look pretty. It's, what it lacks is the depth, like the shapeliness at the top and the bottom. This is just too much of a squeeze, really. If I had more space above and below, whoops, then I would totally be like creating like a dip down into the ground or something. There might sort of still be space for a little bit of that. I'm going to shuffle all of this up by one. Definitely could do with more like height variation in there anyway, that's for sure. So, um, right, we gotta let's let's shut these doors. Let's do this one thing at a time. Like I can silk touch all of this, no problem. Yeah, and as wild as it looks, they'll be fine, I think. Technically they might be able to come out of the side of the block. Hmm, but they didn't. I should be able to silk touch a fire like that, right? Yep, yep, yep. Silk touch is the way. And there we go. Right, so we're ripping out all of that. Uh, we've got another noise in here. It's Stalza21. Thank you ever so much for your free months of support. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to change these ones over here to uh, the logs. And we also got Queen Shazzy here with a donation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What about using drip leaf, glowberries, and the new cherry flowers in with the bees? The cherry flowers would be really nice. Um, I think glowberries is one I go want to go back for. There is the question of just having enough space for it, though, right? But thank you so much again for the donation. The, the, the problem is just this is a really small area. So um, we're kind of just doing what we can with it, really. So now now these beehives are going to go like one higher. Which means the, the campfires are going to be at this level. That's where all our light comes from. Okay, some of them are rotated different from one another. Which strangely annoys me, even though we're not going to see that. So we'll go and fix it because we have to. Looking good. Uh, and then throw up these trap doors. So same thing we had before, just one block higher. I could put in I could put in some bamboo trap doors actually. Did I make any? Oh yeah, the other thing, look, um, we can see how many bees we've got. Oh right, we've actually got some empty ones in there. Wow, so I could make, with this, I can make notes on how many more bees I need. Interesting. Interesting. Um, is that all I've got left for bamboo? I guess I got this, haven't I? Like, would this look good with a couple of these in there as well? I'm not sure. Eh, 
Uh, it looks a little bit like Y. You know, if you were to say like one or the other, I would go with bamboo because you get to see some of the fire back there. So we'll do that. Uh, Yaval says, you, uh, you heard I liked Beef's house. I did. I thought Beef's house with the netherrack was pretty cool. But what would you know? Turns out it was a prank. Okay, there it is. The last one. Do you see sort of down below? I think you actually see into that gap down there a little bit as well, so... Let's go ahead and put moss under here. All right. And we don't want a crafting bench in here. No, we don't. And we don't want that chest in there either, really. But look, the inventory is so darn full. Okay, so now what we do is we put a trapdoor here and then the rest of them like that. This time they're facing this way so that we can kind of click between them easily. And then we've got to put all of these in. So, right, we've got room for one. One so far. One is the magic number. I've got to breed up one. Oh! So much for this gap that they create. Right, we had a gap of one. Sorry, we had room for one. Now we've got room for another two that's free. Now we're up to five. Okay, and that's that. Okay, six, seven. Six and seven. And the last two makes it 13. So I need to breed up 13 bees in this area. How do I how do I make sure I don't forget that? Maybe I write it on a sign, you know? Oh, do you know what? This is a this is a block that adds detail, isn't it? If you think about it. Signs are a good good shape. You could put them in here and there, but uh, yeah, we got our thing. Going on pretty well here. Let's go grab the bushes. Through the ceiling. Takes 26 flowers in to breed. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I could just count out the flowers, couldn't I? How many other hermits are on? A few are on. Impulse isn't streaming, is he? I think he's just left his uh, status thing there. So we'll go and plant a few of these like other colours in, just uh, mix it up a little bit. And then we want to make sure we've got plenty of these. And then the rest we'll do with this. Maybe we should leave a few gaps here and there. So it's not too overwhelming. Kind of hypnotic, swinging around like this. <laughs> How's that looking? It's kind of gorgeous. Just, just a little too cramped. Like I said, vertically it's too cramped. But it's, it's like got a real nice direction to it. This doesn't fit. I don't think that it belongs in here. But what if it were like up on, up on there here? It doesn't look like an object. You need something smaller. You need like a flower pot up there, I think. Go see, we've got some flower pots. Seal says, I don't think it's incredibly cramped. I mean, incredibly. Maybe not incredibly cramped. I think it's pretty cramped. Gold will go nice. Um, oh, there's so many blocks. Fence gates, some fence posts. So we needed to put more glow lichen on the ground. Or even on the sides or anywhere, really. It just adds a little something. 
Jeez, I feel like I'm forgetting the main reason we came down here. But uh, here's the thing I need to do, get some more grass. What resource pack am I using? I'm using Vanilla Tweaks. Also, Kiku Unai, thank you for 17 months of support. Just popped in, hope everything this evening has been treating you well. Yeah, it's been good, it's been great. The Lucy Goosey says, me scrolling down 139 pages docs. This is the part of writing short stories I don't like. Okay. I love your interiors. They always feel so cozy, says Funky. Oh, thank you. I mean, cozy is what I want to go for, really, because I want my base to feel cozy, I guess. I want it to feel like a home. It's snug, says Sneal Flipper. There you go. That's a nice term. Oh, glowberries. Thank you, chat. Thank you, yeah. Glowberries, glowberries. <clears throat> I mean, they're supposed to be here somewhere. Oh, actually, they might be in this chest. Yeah, there they are. Then I need the bone mill again, which I'm pretty sure we've got in a chest up top. Angie says, first time catching your stream, enjoying it. Glad to hear it. How many other first timers have we got tuning in? It's crazy. It's crazy reason to message like that. Because I've just been doing this for so long, you kind of forget that there's always new people popping in and out and stuff. Right? Always new people coming and going. Oh, lots of people. Well, welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. This is this is my vibe over here. I just hang out. Play the game. Nothing too crazy. Tomorrow, um, by the way, I'm streaming again tomorrow morning. Great reason to hit the follow button. Look, he just did a plug. He just plugged his... Oh, oh, he's a good streamer, is he? Um, yeah, I'm streaming again tomorrow if you want to follow in the morning. I think what I might pivot to tomorrow is doing some communal stuff. Like there's some... Not grindy, but there's some, there's some stuff that it would be useful for someone to do. And I thought it, I might just go ahead and do it on a stream. And it involves the never. <laughs> Which could involve bad stuff. I don't know. Right. I'm just I'm just sort of looking and winging it here. Just what, what feels right. Put it where it feels right. Uh, another important one that we missed is these moss carpets. Don't have to go cray cray with these either really. They just add a few little lines, a sense of something here and there. Uh, then it's the turn of the glow lichen, so on for you, good sir. Just, uh, don't need a crazy amount, really, just as long as there's a few. Kind of breaks it up a little. Um, then, then I'm looking at these corners and feeling they look a little lonely. Ah. Ah, indeed. Give me the glowberries. These should totally make the player glow. Like, that is such a missed opportunity, Mojang. Why can't they make the player glow? Well, that's nice. That's real nice. I think I think a couple more of those actually might fit in pretty well. Uh, where else have we got a gap? I'll make one. That's looking pretty gorgeous in here, isn't it? Like we've done a lot considering this is kind of flat. And honestly, I don't think there's too much more I'd ask for in here. I just feel like there needs to be something over on these sides. Can't quite think of what. Now we got we got a few more things. Like if we really wanted to, we could add loads of like signs going across. I don't think that's it. Uh, sunflowers. Oh my god, we literally need, like, flowers in here. I think I brought sunflowers with me, but if we just look at the palette in here, it could do with a little bit of contrast. And Liliac kind of, um, reinforces, uh, this colour a little bit. So it's about, it's about where to put it, because you actually want to have, like, a couple of these 
Oh look, I want it to be symmetrical. Sorry. Maybe like a little cluster of them really could, could work. So yeah, you got those on either side for them to go out and breed with, right? That kind of works, I think. I think we need more flowers of that color on the ground. I'll see if I got some pink tulips. Vines, that's a good shout. I think we're at the point though where we've got most of the detail in, you know, like you can always keep going and adding a few more things. Uh, Curls, thank you for gifting subs to Turing and Cold Chirp. I appreciate you doing that, Curls. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. Oh, look. Melon could have gone in the ground. See, there's so many blocks, but you're going to hit that point where you're introducing too much stuff. I actually, I'm actually seeing like three other flower types here that feel like they belong. So we'll give them a try. Like cherry blossom, I think I think we're gonna be overdoing it at that point. But now, like look at that. That's just gorgeous. There's there's something super super lush going on here. A little bit of water somewhere might be a good good thing. Okay, and then a few little like flowers like that over here and over on this side. Sorry, glow lichen, got rid of you again. I think that's I think that's kind of gorgeous, right? I think oh, didn't you remember I said flower pots? Why did I not grab the flower pot then? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the sunflower out of this. Flower pot. How am I? Says uh, Red Devil Bandit. I'm good. Thanks for asking. A spore blossom was totally totally on the list. I just don't have one. I think we discussed making them craftable at one point, but uh, but we didn't. Yeah, Mojang, Mojang have made them rare, right? Like, should they be rare? Should you have to go? I think I think it's good to have a few things that encourage you to go out far and adventure. They're a real prize. Maybe I haven't gone and gathered enough of them to know like how how much work they are. But you know, you got to find a lush cave biome. And then pillar about a bit, you can get one or two, you know. And they cover a large area with the particle effects. I'm hating this already. This is this is the first time today where I've really had to like fish through for specific blocks because I'm doing building. And so far before that, it'd been pretty easy just rolling with the terrible storage. So yeah, coming back over here. Like we also want to have, yeah, just a couple of these. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of there, really. It it could probably do with a couple more unique things here and there, but now now we want to look at it from the outside. Like we put in a couple of trap doors, that was a good idea. But until I think until more of this outside area here gets established, and we know what it is. Also, I think this floor here might be my storage room. I was just looking at the uh, ceiling and thinking, I wish I could pick something that fits it better. It's a, it's a real challenge to to build interiors when you can't like just have infinite space to push back or whatever. Because I really like, I don't know, getting all those fiddly edges just right and how you want them. And so this is going to encourage me to think different because... We do not have that kind of space to mess around with here, do we? Uh, but there you go. That That's sort of it. That's sort of like the first... The first little build. Just done off the cuff inside of here. And it's not finished. It's not finished. Still, There's still room for more. I just don't know what the more is. There needs to be shape and detail added somewhere. I was thinking some... Uh, let's get some birch fence posts together oh buttons are a good little detail and maybe that either side uh, the sign is temporary obviously I did wonder about like would, would there be a way to redstone this door system for when you go through but I'm not sure that there is Yeah, look at that. We got it. Um, this means I can let the bees out now and let them do the thing. Who let the bees out? Who? 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 That song, man. 
Oh my god, it was so annoying when I was a kid and it was on the radio all the time. Hated it. <laughs> now that I'm older, I'm like, ah, whatever. It's a silly song. Wouldn't redstone defeat the purpose of keeping the bees inside, says Scarlet. Uh, no, the redstone would be there to, like, open and close the doors for you and just make it interactive and fun. Uh, Win Boy Hero Game. Thank you so much for the Prime subscription. And Cybot is here for 20 months. How you doing, my dude? Hope all is well. Thank you for the support. Right, we're trying to clear out that other chest and put everything over here. And it's a slow process, but we're getting there. So I'm just going to put that in the ground because, because I said so. That's a good reason, isn't it? Because I said so. Got two of them now. Ah. Z for off. I've probably absolutely butchered your name. Thank you so much for the Prime subscription. <laughs> Thanks for using that on me. Waterlogged azalea leaves. I love it. What a suggestion. Yeah, we can waterlog these now. I did say, didn't I say a little bit of water in there? Oh my god, that's so nice. That's so nice. Where's where's my nearest water source? I just finished the pufferfish video. What did I miss? Uh, you missed me meeting up with Scar, chopping down trees, being a derp with that thing, and then building this little room up here. Right, I got a plan for what we're going to do next. I, I I just remembered a little something that needs doing, sort of sooner than later for me. So I'm going to do that. Um, before we do, let's let's unleash the bees, not the kraken. Not unleashing the Kraken. <clears throat> Actually, that's something I keep on me. So, this horrendous mess of an inventory will remain a horrendous mess for now. I need 26, which is the amount I have there. Interesting. Can we breed them all in one go? I'm not sure. Feel free to pop out. I was going to say, I should probably hold that in my hand, but maybe wait until I've opened all of these. Right. Oh my god. Let the chaos begin. It's breeding frenzy time. Now, I could... Oh, there's the possibility of that, and there's the possibility of accidentally clicking on a baby one after it's born. Oh, I'm also getting XP. I'm leveling up. I'm a pro Minecrafter. XP farm. What? Oh no. Whew. That was a gamble. That was a right gamble, breaking that. Could have accidentally punched a bee. But I'm pro. I know what I'm doing here. Okay. Two more to go? Go on. Summer, you must have not been bred yet. I think that might be it for now. So, like, we need to breed, like, one or two more in the future. And now they just went on some small bees, so... Oh, no, not that again. Oh, he gambled. He wins. There's a that is a real risk doing that punching in a in a apiary. Uh, right, so we've opened all of those. These are now free to do their thing. Basically, I'm gonna safely eject myself from the building. So we're pretty much there. Like I'm just gonna put that off to one side there. You know, almost full capacity. And I am stoked with how that turned out. Oh, they're using the glowberries too. They're using all sorts of things. Oh, they can. I think they can pollinate on those bushes. So they just got like a crazy amount of uh, places to pollinate. What about out the side here? Yeah, this is this is no longer going to be a walkway. I think I think I'm going to fill that in. But for now, uh, we'll leave it as is. And that was a great little project. And we just had a sub bomb, which is kind of perfect timing for what I wanted to do next. Um, Katerak21, thank you for subscribing. Michael1997, thank you for four months with the Prime and another 10 gifted subs. Nutria Chi, whose name I've absolutely butchered. And to everyone else who gifted subs today, thank you so much for um, gifting them. I appreciate it. Thank you for supporting our wonderful community here. If you have had your, your uh, account gifted a sub, be sure to say thanks in the chat. And I'm just going to nip to the loo for a second. I've switched to standing. Because I've sat for the first half of the stream. I'm going to nip to the loo. 
And I'm going to leave you with this animation for the moment. To celebrate us uh, having so many gifted subs. Camel Sumer and Sniff Sumer. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So cool. So amazing. Oh, you can see like a word there. <laughs> oh. Peeps, while I have all of you with me as well, I want to tell you about uh, my music because last year I got my album made put out on the internet free for you to listen to on spotify and i also made some new music as well and put them on my youtube channel um yeah if you head over to spotify you can find the new album the slide should come up in a second and then we'll get back to it oh it's going back to that one is it i want to go to the other one it doesn't i give up Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's my record right there. You can get it on Bandcamp. You can listen to it on YouTube. You can listen to it on Spotify. Apple Music is on loads of places, basically. Anyway, if you'd be so kind as to go and uh, check it out, that would be absolutely wonderful. It's free to listen to. Oxaralis is here for 95 months. Wow, is it that time again? Happy to see another season. I look forward to seeing what shenanigans you'll get up to. Thank you, my dude. There'll be plenty of shenanigans this season, I'm sure. And Ofo Show, thank you so much for the uh, Prime subscription. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Moral says, love your music. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I was uh, playing a little bit of my own music the other day on guitar. I, I've been really weird. Ever since that album's been finished, I haven't, I haven't even like played any of those songs on guitar yet. I just I think I have this weird feeling like I'm going to get all obsessed with it again. It's just going to like occupy my mind. In, in a crazy way or something. I don't know. Is that that stuff's... Oh, look. There's a little Jevin view box over here. See the top of his, uh, his build right there. Apparently, I missed 50 gifted subs. You're absolutely right. Neurotry, whose name I've... You know, absolutely, mercilessly butchered, coming in with more gifted subs. Thank you so much for your generosity. I apologise for butchering the name. This one's for you. I know I got it wrong. It's just... How am I supposed to pronounce it like that, man? <laughs> what do I search to find X's music, says Ar Arlif. Uh, Soulside Eclipse. I didn't actually say the name of it out loud. Name Under Renovation says, Bury My Soul is my favourite song off the album, but they're all bangers. That is, that is like, one of the earliest songs. That's the first, like real song that I wrote. The first surviving one. I've got like some other stuff that's just awful before it, but that's like the first thing. The little melody on the piano and stuff. That's like... It wasn't all written in one day. Like there's bits of the song that were written at different times and stuff, but that, that main melody, that was... 
One of the first things I wrote when I started uh, writing some music. Right, so this area right here, I don't think it really matters where I put this next thing, um, but yeah, is the episode. Yeah, the episode is out. Me and Ren. Um, he was supposed to do the bamboo farm, right? He was supposed to do the bamboo farm. There's a donkey in there. <laughs> I, I, like, I'm only, I'm only joking, like, I need this thing quicker than, uh, than I guess he was going to put it over here, so. I'm on it, just bogged down with paperwork. Gotta get those permits in. Yeah, man, it's totally fine. I was, uh, trying to have a little bit of fun with it, but, you know, I, I kind of realized, oh, I need this thing sooner than, uh, sooner than Rem might be over here figuring it out himself, so. Anyway, it's, it's so simple just to set up one of the... Oh, no! It's not simple! It's not simple! Dang it! It's not simple! X, you almost forgot such an important detail. One that I didn't tell Ren either. Uh, time to leave Hermitcraft. I just remembered something. Okay. Right, onto the Redstone server. Oh, top secret! Redstone contraption of doom! Now you know why I need honey blocks. Right, uh, I think it's this thing over here that looks kind of trippy as you approach it. Uh-huh. Oh! The old redstone world is a part of the new redstone world. Have I... Here it is, here it is, here it is. That, that looks like it. It's kind of not quite where I remembered it being. This is the unbreakable flying machine set up. But I never ever got around to build it. We have to do it this season. So the trick here... It's just to know how wide this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So if I make this 11 wide, we can put in an unbreakable flying machine. Which interestingly is broken, but I think I'll give it a pass because this world was transferred from one to another. So that probably has something to do with it breaking. Uh, what, wait a minute, it's not even running. Maybe that's actually what happened. Someone just stopped the clock. And it's but yeah okay right this thing requires both honey and slime so i might start work on a slime farm soon since we got the honey thing going it's not a lot of blocks right um there's up oh there's ups and downs to this thing because look at the look at the redstone on the side stuff's gonna catch there you could run a rail under it like have a rail here as well hmm I'm starting to think, was this originally for some other, I think it was originally for dripstone. Oh, here's, here's the other one. This one, yeah, interesting. This one makes the catchment area smaller, I think. Where's the flying machine here? This was not really a part of the plan today. And why is there a gap in the middle? I can't remember any of this stuff. Oh, this is so that you can fill it up like that. Ah. Right. So if we don't want the items coming off the edge, we do that. That's... Okay, that's reasonable. I don't know why there's a thing in the middle, but yeah. Oh, look. I've even got all the minecarts and stuff here. Ren says, X, I can never build that in my wildest dreams, bro. I was just going to plant some bamboo. <laughs> yeah, no. I just want to get the width down. So I think it's nine blocks wide, not 11. And then... It just means, like, you can just build this up around it later on. Um, I must admit, though, I was... I was thinking this was, like, kind of simple. The flying machine is simple. Getting redstone and these redstone components is very basic. The terracotta, you know, a little bit of work, a little bit of smelting. The rail collection system doesn't have to be this exquisite. Then again, you do get a lot of bamboo from this, so... Ah, maybe it's, maybe it's too early to be getting into that. Maybe it's too early for that. I don't know. What do you think, chat? Maybe it's... A, maybe, oh, you know what? I'm just going to make a big old field of bamboo. You see, all of that... All of that... Um, all of those big farms and stuff that we used to build, they, they require so much, like, fort planning and preparation and resource gathering. And it feels to me like the instinct is just to try and get a little bit away from that this season. I don't know. I just 
feel like I'm going to have an allergic reaction to it. <laughs> it's like the little thing that we did today on the stream, that's the kind of thing I want to do. Just little improvisational, inspire driven things that work. And those big farms, man, you always got to think through so many things. Like when you build that collection system, now all of a sudden you need things like um, Amethyst, you know, the little the little crystals when they're grown you need to use those in it and then now you need an iron farm and you got to go get those materials and maybe just keeping it simple and old school for now is fine but it is the premise of this place here that it is going to become like a, a mega farming area maybe we're just not ready for it yet you already have it planned out. Just do the bamboo farm. Doc has gone crazy with his farms already this season. Yeah, Doc's, Doc's doing his thing, you know. I just I just feel like I need a different pace. I've, you know, done nothing but farms on Hermitcraft. Year after year after year. And this season feels different. And I just kind of want to maybe approach things a little different. But yeah, the, the idea was basically like make this thing... The right size, so that when you go build that farm later, it's already there. Now that I think about it, it's like it's just bamboo. You can just like knock it down if it's if there's too much of it in one area. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? I am now thinking. I am now thinking also like the collection area here is really good. This is cool. You wouldn't probably want to build this for collecting bamboo. But when you do bamboo manually, you do have to kind of like wade for it a bit to pick up all the items. I'll, I'll think on it, but um, for now we'll go ahead and do all of this. Make a nice old square over here. Uh, Enderbram, thank you for 32 months. Mia Miss, 78, thank you for subscribing. Plateau Ruvatanico, oh my god, there's a... There's a name that I've butchered. Do what you feel is fun. Yeah, yeah, do what you feel is fun. That's that's like a bit of a mantra for this season, I think. Doing what you feel is fun. And having fun. Thank you for the biddies. Appreciate it. Kitty Gaming, 99. Good to see you again. 75 bumps. Woo! Racking up the mumps. Racking them up. Where do they go, eh? Mud blocks with a hopper chain underneath. Oh! Yeah. Um, the hopper chain would... For the size of the bamboo, it's a bit on the excessive side. If hoppers were, like, way better optimized, and you could just have loads of them in the world, then sure. I think that would work. But I can tell you, for the size of farm we want, that's a lot of, that's a lot of hoppers, right? Uh... Ceramic says, taking it slow equals green and taking the slowest possible route to get a mending book. I was wondering, can you get mending books from fishing? Did they ever change that or nerf it? That would be most unfortunate if it turned out that at some point they changed that. Because they change everything in this game, I'll tell you. As, as Mr. Snapshot, I can't remember anything about this game because all I ever see is stuff that changes. It never stays the same. Oh, Impulse got one. Okay, okay, it's possible. That's good, that's good. It's good if it's possible, you know. It'd suck if uh, you spend ages doing something to find out it's not. Which which is something I feel like I've done my fair share of in Minecraft. It's like, I'm doing this grindy thing, and then later on I, like, get halfway through it, and I'm like, oh, that's not how it works. Okay. Oh, dear. What did I just spend my time doing? That's why focusing on fun is just such a nice objective because then you don't really have to worry about if it's the most efficient thing or whatever wow this has been bugging me i'm gonna get rid of this somewhere in here there's a log that's been left behind d-dubs is over four thousand without the book four thousand he's over four thousand without the book do you mean four thousand fishes like fishing attempts that's the only thing I can think that is. Like charcoal blocks, says G Stab. Exactly! Like charcoal blocks. I spend 
all this time going absolutely mega on taking a farm to another level for a block that don't even exist. Exists in modded Minecraft, but not... Oh my god. Oh my god. That's just me, though. I even remember there being a moment where I was like, is this a thing? Or am I, am I imagining something? And then I go... I go on with it anyway. I do, you know, do the whole project. And then it's like, ah, it's not a thing. Should I listen to my instinct? Any fun plans to use the craft room farms, says Mirai. The, uh, the whole point of this project here is to go from starter farms and across the course of the season, everything will be automated. Like... You like the wood farm, like for oak wood, we can do this. We can hook it up to bone mill, grow it, TNT it with TNT duper, and then take the wood that you get and put it into chests, and then craft it into other materials and put those into chests. I made sugarcane block recipes, says sh sh uh, show enough. Yeah, I mean, in modded Minecraft, you got the sugarcane block too, yeah. Penelope Sky says we've all done it, right? Yeah, we've all done it, right? Haven't we? We've all done that thing where we craft that block that doesn't exist. Yep, yep, yep. Totally normal Minecrafter experience. Uh, with how hungry hermits are for coal ore, you'd think they forgot charcoal completely. Are we hungry for coal ore? I'm literally walking past some right now. You reminded me that earlier I found um, Deep Slake coal ore and I actually took a picture of it so I could go like silk touch it later and bring it back here. be kind of cool to have all the ores eventually although that deep slate diamond uh, emerald ore might be a bit much apparently peeps have been using lava more than coal interesting interesting yeah i i can i can definitely see us starting to plan out our um storage system real soon like it got it got tested today and the, the results weren't good Doc has made an awesome contraption with the auto crafters already. Did you see it? I haven't seen it. Um, but I've been playing, done plenty with auto uh, crafting on my redstone world already. Aha. Uh -huh. So to prep for tomorrow. Just uh, looking at my notes. Oh, let's get some more wheat so I can make more packed mud. To prep for tomorrow, I think I'm going to go get some obsidian. Find a lava lake and uh, mine some stuff up. What? Wing of pestilence. Thank you for the prime. Pestilence. What is pestilence? I'm, I'm, I like... It's like a biblical word for something bad. Like, I don't know, like famine and disease. But, uh... I listened to a band called Pestilence as well. If I'm thinking of the right bands, they did like proggy tech death metal in the early 90s or something. Diseases. Okay, thank you. Thank you, chat. Plague. Infestation. Right. Yeah, I think I, I, think I heard it recently brought up in the show Bad Omens and then I was just like, Pestilence? Like, what, is, what actually is that? I know it's like a bad biblical thing, but... Disease via pests, like fleas. Ah, pests. Right, pestilence. Huh. You mean good omens? Sorry, yeah, good omens. Bad omens is that band, isn't it? Good omens is the uh, the book. Oh, and I, I finished watching the first season. So I listened to the audio book first and then watched the TV show. And i got to say it, like, honestly, the TV show engaged me more than listening to the audio book. But that might just say something more about the sort of media I consume than it does. Is is the book better than the movie, that old thing? It's it's probably a matter of like how much did you enjoy it? If you love reading and re reading gives you a lot, you'll probably find you have a strong experience with reading books and therefore, you know, it competes with a movie on a different level. Whereas for me for me, it's just that like I'm, I'm more used to watching stuff, you know. I can't wait to see what you think about season two. I'm, I'm in it, and I'm already getting this feeling of like... I don't know, I'll have to see where it goes before I make up my mind. But I'm at least enjoying it, it's cool. 
Uriel Cow Cheese Lover. Thank you so much for the Prime and Mako Makoto Kino 93 with the Prime. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. Yeah, is Ren still online? I wonder if we should go like bug and annoy Ren. I I don't whenever I play on here, I, I'm not one to like go off and just interact with people. I always just get on with something, you know? Um, and the thing that I need to get on with is probably mining obsidian, which isn't particularly entertaining. So maybe uh, before we do any of that, I'm just going to wander over in that direction. Queen Shazzy says we love interaction. I love it too. I just, I'm not an initiator. Like, I, I just, if I log on, I just kind of like do something. Oh, the, I'll decorate this thing or I'll build that farm. And I tend not to think about like interacting with other people but i do want to i want to come up with like little games and shenanigans and stuff but it's just it's just not my wheelhouse it feels like although i did actually you know what? i did do it with the shorts the shorts on my channel last season right that was me experimenting with doing something not that's not really my wheelhouse and do you know what <laughs> it birthed some funny moments i think my favorite moment was when b-dubs came up I was hanging out with ifo B-dubs came up and I said, can you keep your mouth shut? <laughs> it's just, I just couldn't find the right words to say what I wanted to say. And I probably said the worst ones possible. You know, I just wanted to say like, look in here and don't say anything. But for some reason I asked him if he can keep his mouth shut. Just, oh my God, what is wrong with me? Oh, Ren's, Ren's doing the off. Oh. This area is super cool, though. This communal area. I'm a little, I'm a little far out from it. I'm a little far out from it. So, like, this is like the key area here. Pulse just over there, clear in the corner. I'm kind of over here. So I think I need to expand out in front of me whenever that time comes. <laughs> y'all like that. I'm reading chat. Y'all liked that moment. It was a good moment, wasn't it? Wait, did Ren look back on? Because I totally just heard a voice. Wait, did Ren look back on? Because I totally... And it's my voice! <laughs> He's probably doing other stuff and got the stream on. Oh my, that was so weird. It's so weird. It's like, actually, it's my voice that I can hear. Oh. Uh. Dude, look at this gorge here, right? This is crazy. Crazy terrain. Dangerous. Uh, Bean eBay. Eight eBiddies. eBiddies, thank you so much for the subscription. Kordishi, thank you for 73 months. Fandmaster, thank you for two months. Proud Looney with some cheers on biddies saying... So happy you're liking Good Omens. It's a very special TV show for me, and I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Like, uh, like I said, I read the audiobook first. Uh, that was that was a bit of an experience because the actors, the voice actors in the book, are the same as on the TV show. So that helps you like really connect with them. They 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 really feel like the same characters, I guess. Which might be might be like a positive, really, if you want to talk about um, going from a book to show but then again it's audiobook right so i don't know i when i was a kid um used to have audiobooks on tape like the secret seven and the fantastic five i have like vague memories of some of those shows the shows what i'm on about like vague, vague memories of uh the adventures and stuff they went on at some point, I really want to, like, find... I have looked in the past on YouTube for something like this, but, like, someone doing, like, a recap on those old shows or books. God, I keep calling them shows. And just, like, you know, getting a little bit of your childhood back, in a way. Because I don't know what ever happened to those old tapes and old books that I first listened to as a kid. They are, like, long gone. It feels like. And, and I have vague memories of, like, the uh, adventures and story. And I just love to, like, know what they all were again. Right, so we want to find, like, a lava pool so we can get some obsidian. 
I was hoping to see there's some light over there. It's a bit cheaty, but <laughs> this is what I was saying. This is what I was saying about um, free cam. It's just it's too easy to use. You just tap a button and look around a corner. Audio CDs and tapes are so special. Yeah, they felt like it back then when I was a kid. Libraries will still have audiobooks and such for those older books. Yeah, they might do. I just don't know what the ones I had were, right? Like I've, I've looked, I have looked into it a little bit. I just maybe haven't given it enough time. Okay, this is where I was excavating some tough, and this was that light that we saw a moment ago. See, so I see a zombie. I don't have like, I don't have anything. Okay, there's a creeper there. I don't have anything reasonable to uh, protect myself with right now as well. Like, I don't even have the means to make torches. This wasn't a well-thought-out plan. Yeah, I think I just need to go back and get some actual supplies in my inventory. Oh, oh no, no, no. I still have all my Roll Doll books. They were so special to me growing up as the Soundwave Hope. I'm glad you still got them, yeah. Like, I used to read loads of Goosebumps books, and I gave them all away. I just, I kind of felt like, I'm not going to read them again. I don't think I ever would, but some of those Goosebumps books are actually pretty fun. still remember some of those stories quite well. The um, Night of the Living Dummy series was, like, really cool. I like that one. R.L. Stein. There were some really cool stories. So yeah, what should a Minecraft always have, right? You should always have a stack of wood. And if you're going cave in, you want some coal so you can make more torches. Get rid of that stick. That was for uh, renaming this thing, wasn't it? What else does one need on them? I feel like there were there were more things I would carry around for me than that. <clears throat> There's a very specific world of British kids slash teens books that gives me a unique feel of nostalgia. Rolled out especially, says Honey Bee Buddy. Yeah, the nostalgia probably comes from... Uh, growing up listening to them. Ender chest. That's a great objective for us to get, right? I need to kill an enderman to get an ender chest soon. Can you imagine a choose your own adventure read through with polls for options? I'd be reliving childhood right there. I, the choose your own adventure books were cool as well. I remember those. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll be at this forever if I don't use a bit of free cam just to sort of see. But there's definitely lava down there. And I got my bucket of wood. I went exploring this way the other day and I was like desperately trying not to fall down there. And now we're going to take the plunge. Whew. Hey, I got this. Don't worry about me. Hey, I was blocking. Dead. Right. And there goes my four torches. Right, if we see it, we'll need more coal. I should probably put my helmet on. This will help keep me alive right now. Oh, I see another skelly bob over there. I haven't really explored these caves much at all below my base. Oh, that's uh, gravel particles. That looks like it goes down to where there's some lights glow like in. Just looking for that lava. Oh, this looks like a terrifying big cave, doesn't it? What's that over there? That looks brighter than glow like in. You just walked past iron. Yeah, I did. I'm not here for iron. Was it? Was it anything? 
Oh boy! Oh my god, it almost killed me. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. We're fine. Oh, there's another two. Woo! Easy. Easy. Could do some redstone. Is this silk touch or fortune? It's fortune. I've been mining without fortune for a while and getting like diamonds and stuff. And then I was like, oh, that's wasteful. That's wasteful. Oh, there it is. I don't want to be pushed in. Do not want to be pushed in. It looks like it might be a lake. Oh, there's no light, so it's probably not. Interesting. It was really... It, oh, don't tell me it's just that many. Oh, well, there, there goes the first block, you know. Cub is live, apparently. Okay. Dang it. How, how has the time gone that quickly today? Because we gotta go we got to go meet up with Cub. I know where Cub's space is as well. By the way, uh, Fandmaster... Thank you so much for two months. I uh, didn't get around to reading that one. Thank you, thank you. I still have around ten minutes. That's true. This is for tomorrow, though. I need obsidian for what we're going to do tomorrow. Uh-huh. Unless I change my mind. I, I, I just... I have a thing that needs doing that I figured I'd do tomorrow morning because I'm kind of picturing myself waking up and being like, it's too early. That or I'll work on my storage system. I mean, what do y'all want to see me do? Right? I was thinking of going to the nether and working on the nether portals, right? Communal ones. Sort of like some early nether hub work. Or possibly work on storage. Like a storage layout. I just I kinda have a feeling the storage stuff might be a bit boring. I'm kinda not sure what I want to do with that. Like build a storage room. I see what mood I'm in. You know, I might be in a building mood. Although, like, some of you are keen for me to do the nether hub. Wow, okay. Both. There might be time for both. Who knows? Who is doing the nether hub? There isn't going to be a nether hub. There's going to be a concept. Or, uh... Or, like, how we're going to use the roof of the nether. And because of that, we need to start using it sooner than later. So I figured I can make a bit of a push and get us going in the right direction. Hey! Why did I say hey? I totally forgot why I said hey. That was weird. Oh, look, we found some more. Good. Right, let's, uh, let's do that. Oh, look at this. It's in the way. It's a pain. Come on. Have we filled it in? I think we filled it in. Diamonds, says Starbrush Gaming. Where? Where are the diamonds? I don't see no diamonds. It's obsidian. Right. And with that, we can get some more. Bro, I hate you in stream. Saying as seriously as you are always, says Topius Mackey. Ah, oh, why do you hate me? Ah, oh, my poor little ego. Hi, X, this is my first time commenting on Twitch, and I wanted to say I think there is great potential for you uh, to have some hilarious moments with the other hermits this season. I hope you get out of your little comfort zone a little. I mean, having fun with the other hermits isn't out of my comfort zone. I just It's just not my uh, impetus. Like like I said earlier, I just i just get on and do my own thing. I don't, I don't like, don't know how to go and mess with other people. But like, it's not, it's not out of my comfort zone. I love hanging out with the hermits. They're great people. This looks like another relatively pathetic source of obsidian too, doesn't it? Okay. 
You do hang out with other hermits, says Vegan. Oh, sorry. V v Beggar Botain. Oh, gosh, I butchered your name. I'm sorry. I do hang out with other hermits. Popped by and saw uh, Ren Cleo and Iskal this morning. And false as well. I love the solo streams. They remind me of the old school EFO Let's Plays. Collaboration is great too, but that's why I love Hermitcraft. There is such great variety and content and style. Do right, yeah. There's a lot of variety among this group. Whoops, did that wrong. We'll get out of here eventually. Doing this the lazy way, that's all. Right, wasn't there something important I was supposed to do on the way out of here? Can't remember what it was though. Cannot remember whatsoever. I think that's the way out of here. Let's, uh... Let's pillar up here. Yo, I'm so sure I was supposed to do something. What could it have been? Um, let's go over here. This is the way out, isn't it? This is the way out. Diamonds? Diamonds? Where? Where are the diamonds? I see no diamonds. We're, we're up at the area where it uh, meets stone. More likely to find them lower down. God, we, we, went, we went a ways on this little adventure, didn't we? See if this takes us back up where we want to go. Hey, coal! I did say I want some more of that. Making torches. You find it, it's, it's really jarring how you find it higher up in the world now because for the longest time you just used to keep accumulating it when you were caving and it was never a problem. Whereas now it's like you got to get enough earlier on to get more later on. You know? Okay, back up here then. How much did we actually get? 45? That's not very good. That's not very good. One way to actually farm obsidian is to like use the generation of portals in the nether. If you've got like a loop you can get into. That can be pretty cool. You know, just create, create a new... Oh, you keep stealing those every time, name tag. Stealing my golden... My golden carrots. God, oh, you failed. Well, I failed really, didn't I? Just trying to blame name tag. Glad name tag is back. It was such a funny little thing from uh, back then in season two. Get a bridge. Yeah, I didn't want to put like a dirt pillar across there. And I didn't really want to build a bridge yet just because I, I don't know, I like... I kind of want to do one thing at a time when it hits you, you know, like we did the bee thing today because it hit me. And there's so many little things to do. I just want to do do them as they arise, I think. Cubs at Tango's house, apparently. Oh, watch out for the hole. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. You survived, name tag. You survived. Oh, thank goodness. Let's get you out of here, buddy. I'm an irresponsible driver, I know. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm going to have to brush up on my old horse riding skills. Mainly looking where I'm going. This is easier, isn't it? This is easier. Oh, thank goodness there's a path here. Someone needs to take away your horse license. Who says I've got a horse license? Jeez. I don't have no license for horsing around. <clears throat> right. Well, other people are certainly uh, content with these stone bridges, aren't they? I like this here, by the way. Like, just using cobble and stone. Not everything has to be all fancy textures all the time. Just have a little garden around the outside. I feel like I need some of that. Out near mine. So many things to do, right? So many things to do right at the beginning of this. 
Oh, this is cool. I like uh, Tango using the new copper grape box. That's awesome. That's great. That's great. Why are there three chests here? Right, I'm going to guess that Cub is now probably back at his base. Is uh, Cub at his base, chat? Can y'all tell me? Ah! I'm looking for a way across. Someone's got a beacon! It's Efo. Of course Efo's there got a is. beacon. Hey! Hey! How's it going, Cub? Suma Void. Hello. That is me. Doing well. How was the stream? Fun. Terrific, thanks. Look at this. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, stream torch. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty hype. Pretty, pretty wild. I've not done something like this before. What were you up to in, this, in the stream, Max? Oh, okay. So I made a apiary in my base. That was pretty much the, the bulk of oh. what I did today. Okay, it's, very it's nice. It's a pretty beautiful little thing. Hey, look at this. Sweet, yeah. You, you were can put this thing that. on your shoulder. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hold it. That's you can put it on your head. Cool. Yeah, it's super, super cool. I love it. Yeah. Nice. There's um, there's this thing we've got to do. We, What's that? We What's have that? to, like, we have to add to the name of this thing. I decided to add to the lore oh. of it. I thought I'd do something a little custom. Hey, come back here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what you Mr. want to put on Dr. that, but Skizzle know. beans on toast cow, drizzle with honey. Yeah, uh, Scar was going on about eggs with honey, so I did that for him. <laughs> oh, yep, yep. Do you have any plans for your stream then? Eat some eggs with honey. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think uh, yeah, we might go to the Nether and do some stuff. Uh, I gotta get an area dug out under my base. Uh, also, I want to do some things for some hermits. I got some ideas for some hermit bases. Ooh. Some uh, add-ons to, to some bases around the server. That sounds kind of pranky. Uh, no, it's actually very useful. No? Actually. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. It's something that people don't really build, but I think it's a lot of fun, so we might do some. That sounds intriguing, man. Here's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> i got to get up and stream again in the morning, so I won't be around to watch it, but it sounds intriguing. Oh, we'll, we'll put one in your base for sure, then. We'll put one in your base for sure. It'll be good. Yeah. You'll like okay, it. Okay, well, I, I, I will like look it. forward to seeing that in the morning. I, okay. I just had this weird moment where it's like, wait a minute. Wasn't Joe following me? I could have swore I looked at the schedule earlier and Joe was after me. Why did Let I see think how this that? looks? Oh, yeah, that looks cool. I like how it like, Oh, it's moves. you then, Joe. Oh, my God. I don't know how I misread that. So, yeah, you are next. <laughs> yep. Sweet. Sweet. Cool. Uh, well, chat knows what's up. They said they they were like Cubs online. He's over here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Cool. Oh, you got the uh, you got the the stream torch. You got all you need. I'll send my got people it. over oh, to you in a minute. Oh, it's dark. Hold on, I gotta turn on the no <sighs> the resource pack. Uh, no pumpkin. Uh, I had that already apparently, so I didn't have that problem. Yeah. By the way, if you put it in your off hands, like I placed it down almost immediately, so uh, might want to avoid that one. There we go. Yeah. I, I like it though. It's a really cool, like unique. Yeah, it's to totally different, isn't it? I gotta figure out what we want to do to uh, add the lore. Oh yeah, yeah. Or you can add to the sure. name. It's up to you. But uh, anyway, it's right. I'll send my people over in a minute. Come. All right. Cheers, Asuma. Oh, cool. have a good one. We'll do. All right, chat. Yeah, I remember looking at the image earlier today, and it was like, oh yeah, Joe's after me. That's good. That's what I need to know. I, I, I don't know. I probably glanced at it super quick and just didn't really uh, read it properly right. I do that so often. Uh, next X stream in 12 hours. Yeah. Yeah. 10 o'clock. 12 hours. So yeah, I think I'll have time to to uh, go for a walk in the morning, I think. Did I look at the wrong graphic? No, I looked at the right one. I just, I don't know. I think maybe maybe I just looked at the bottom of the list, thinking that there was only one person after me or something. This is another one of those things that I feel like I do more and more with time. I just keep making these like really silly mistakes where it's like, ah, you could have avoided that if you just spent a little bit more time. And sometimes it's like, yeah, I was lazy. And other times it's like, I just didn't think to like look at that or whatever. Whew, right across you go. So yeah, in tomorrow's stream, we'll either be doing portal stuff or store. maybe start on the storage room. 
Like, I'm not going to do a mega redstone thing. It's just going to be chests and stuff. And because I'm doing it that way, it's like, eh, it's kind of like a whole different process. I don't know if, like, I'm going to be in the right frame of mind. That's, that's always the thing with uh, streaming and doing stuff. It's really good to pick something when you're in the frame of mind to it. And then you can have some amazing results like we did today with this. This this ended up being absolutely gorgeous. I'm so stoked with it. So yeah. Uh, but as you know, I'm going to wrap up the stream right here, peeps. And send you over to Cubfan, who's continuing on with the uh, live stream weekend. So that's it from me. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you for your tremendous support. I'll see you again in 12 hours in the morning, right? So uh, hit the follow button before you head out of here. If you want to catch that one again in 12 hours. But for the rest of this evening, you got Cub and then you got Joe. And that's it for me. So, uh, yeah, hit that raid button and I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.